Hello dolphins. Welcome to today's pod talk. My name is Lisa Sewell and I'm joined by Angel Garcia, district representative for Senator Hannah Beth Jackson. Angel graduated from CSUCI in 2019 with a degree in communication and was chair of the recruitment committee for the CI Com Club. Thanks so much for being here, Angel. Hi Lisa, thanks for having me. Of course, thanks for being here. Um, so I wanted to start with just a question about all of your involvement in local government. Um, so in addition to your role as a district representative, uh, you're also a vice chair of the East Village Neighborhood City Council and you're commissioner for the Community Relations Committee for the City of Oxnard. Um, so I wanted to see if you could talk a little bit more about each of those roles and, and really just talk about what got you interested in working in government. I see. Yeah, government has always been a passion of mine, and I feel that it was kind of elevated even more at my time at CSUCI as I realized the importance of it. You know, typically we sometimes focus more on the national level, but once you pay attention to the local and you get to figure out who are the key players in your community, it just kind of brings that sort of that sort of homeness to it, you know? So when, as I got more involved, I got to figure out who are like the council members, our mm -hmm. supervisors for the county. These are all important roles that impact what happens in our very own backyard. And this is something we should know about, especially young people, if we want to be the leaders of tomorrow. And, you know, neighborhood council was a great way for me to get involved with my community. We do a lot of neighborhood cleanups for people to clean out what's in their garage if you have anything laying around. It's all, it was kind of a replacement of the neighborhood watch. So oh. we all communicate with each other via next door. If there's anything that's uh, concerning neighbors going on in the neighborhood, they bring that to us and we kind of serve as a liaison to take that message to our local rep representatives at the Oxnard City Council level. And yeah, and as a commissioner, so there's different types of uh, committees for the city of Oxnard. So mine, the community relations committee, what that is, is that we kind of see if there's any oppressive practices going on in the city. And right now, because of what's going on, this committee plays a very important role because if there's something oppressive practices that involve race or ethnicity or religion, that's something that we get involved and we can take that to the city as well. So we're, we kind of serve as a liaison, if you will. That's great. Um, so th this is such important work that you're doing. And I know there are students and alumni from CI who, who would be interested in a similar path as yours. Um, so I wanted to see um, from your perspective, you know, how did your degree from Channel Islands really prepare you for the work that you do? Yeah, you know, I think Channel Islands really does a good job at preparing you for the work life and kind of making you become a leader in your own community. Uh, being a communication graduate, the professors that we have are just incredible. Dr. Yusera is great, Professor Henchy, Professor Smith, Dr. Berry, Dr. Chen. There's just wonderful professors that we're all lucky to have, you know, utilize those connections, connect with them, kind of talk more about their career, kind of learn more, be more humble. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. You know, when you ask those questions about what can you do more to make you stand out from your fellow colleagues that are students, that really helps you become more than just a student you know anyone can just go to CSUCI you park very far away you know search for parking <laughs> and you go to class but yeah. really you should ask yourself what makes you more competitive than the other people that are going to be applying for that same application you also you kind of want to do more and mm -hmm. I feel that me participating with the CI Com Club me being involved in local government really set me apart from others and that's what you want to do set yourself apart be something unique, be, add more to your resume. It's that that really catapults you into the next level and gives you that competitive advantage. That is such good advice. I'm really glad that you shared that. Um, so that kind of segues into my next question is that uh, when you were graduating and you were looking for your first job out of school, uh, what were some of the challenges or maybe the barriers that you might have faced and, and how did you overcome them? So essentially what advice would you be giving you know, to these new students sort of based on your experience and what worked for you. I see. So I have uh, two key advice terms. So number one, quick memory loss. 
and I'll get into that right now. And the <laughs> second one is thick skin. So the first one with short-term memory loss is that, you know, once you get out in the job field, and my heart's with you to the current graduates, I can't imagine how difficult it is to find something given how the job market looks like. So if you have an interview and it doesn't work out, short-term memory loss, reflect on, reflect on what happened, learn and grow take notes and utilize and implement those changes for the next one. Don't be so hung up on one that you didn't get. It's tough. It, mm -hmm. It's really difficult. I had to push myself and really keep, give, give yourself pep talks, you know, don't look so down on yourself, be positive because yeah. if you look down on yourself and you say really mean things to yourselves, it's not going to help. You know what you are. You know, you're a good student. You know, you're a hard worker. You know that you're worth a lot. Tell those things to yourself. Talk positively to yourself as you would to others. And the second one is the thick skin. You know, you're going to realize that things are not as easy as you thought it'd be. You're going to realize that you may not have as much experience as you thought you would have. So with that being said, entry-level positions are very, it's fine. You know, like don't be, do not think, I, there is this one uh, person that worked at HR for this one company that came to our professional communication class. And there's this conception that, you know, as soon as you finish your BA, that you're going to get that dream job. And sometimes that that's not the case. If you do, that's awesome. Good for you, you know. But sometimes we got to work through that. There is a process. So don't be afraid to work through that. Give yourself some experience. And, you feel, and you'll find out that once you get that first entry-level job, that you actually may not know as much as you thought you did. Mm -hmm. And really cherish that experience and help it make you grow to become a better employee don't be afraid to ask questions. And this may, this, this may seem a little cliche, but ask your parents. Your parents are working professionals. They've been working their whole lives to help provide you that life that you have right now. You'd be surprised what they know. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask your supervisor questions. Utilize LinkedIn. Connect with people in the sector that you want to someday work in. Get that knowledge. There's a plethora of knowledge available to you at your fingertips. Just utilize it, bring yourself more down to earth, and don't be afraid to ask questions and be a steward of knowledge, just like CI taught you. <laughs> I love it. That's such great advice. Um, so kind of to your point, you're talking about asking questions, tapping into to LinkedIn, talking to your family. Um, so really, really what you're talking about is, is networking and just the power of that. And so I wanted to see for, from your perspective, like how, how do you define networking and how has um, your network really supported you in your career path? Absolutely. Yeah, networking is very important. And I wish that I would have started networking a long time ago. When I had first gone into CSUCI, I kind of made it a personal goal to delete all my social media so I can really commit myself to my studies. Mm -hmm. And, I, and you know, when I would go to the career centers, um, little uh, uh, shops that they have, the career uh, shops. And, you know, they would always recommend LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. I was like, eh, why do I need LinkedIn? That's just another Facebook. No, I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong, and I'll admit that. LinkedIn is a very important tool. So if you're just starting out at CSUCI, make one and start building connections because it's very important because you can start networking with people that are that work in the field that you're in and you'll realize that their firsthand knowledge is very helpful and accurate like for example i'm very interested in becoming a lawyer someday so what mm -hmm. i have done is i've connected with people that are in law school, people that have graduated law school that are currently practicing law and kind of get their knowledge and see what's going on. So utilize the career center, utilize LinkedIn, you know, all these things are very helpful and networking is very key. You know, at, when I, um, I, I hired a career coach when I was having difficulty finding a job and they call this the hidden job market. So, mm -hmm. It's really about, in some cases, about who you know. So that's why you really want to start early. Get involved and get involved outside of campus. If there's some internships that you want to do, some sort of club that you can join, local organizations, join them and start expanding you, your network 
and keep up that communication with them, you know, invite them to a cup of coffee, see what they're going on. You will find that most of the times, once you start connecting with key players in your community and there's a job that you want, that you're really passionate about, you can say, Hey, do you know anyone from this sector? And they're like, Oh yeah, I know that person. That connection will put in a good word in for you and maybe even potentially organize a meeting or let's say utilize LinkedIn. If you see someone that say you're trying to get a job for Ventura County for a specific department, connect with someone on LinkedIn from that department, say, hey, I'm very interested in this department. Tell me more. So these are the very key things that networking helps. It really helps put a face and personality to that application and resume. It, you're exactly right. And I'm so glad you brought up that the, the concept of informational interviews. That's something that in the Career Center we talk about um, in every job search appointment and every career exploration appointment that we do. So for anybody who's watching that would like assistance, please, please contact us. We're happy to help get you um, set up on LinkedIn to have, you know, get you introduced to Dolphin Connect, which is CSUCI's uh, online mentoring and networking community. Um, so we have a lot of different resources. So thank you so much for, for sharing that advice. That's great. Um, so one of my, my questions that I like to ask is a little bit more open-ended, um, but just, you know, what has inspired you lately? Is there anything that just really stands out that, that has really, um, you know, been an inspiration for you? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel like my inspirations as of lately has just been, you know, my mom seeing her work through. My mom has been my biggest inspiration. She's a single mom and she's really has done it all. She has gone far above and beyond. I don't know how she does it. Just excellent work ethic. And, you know, the team that I'm a part of working at Senator Jackson, just outstanding leaders. You know, we we sometimes have daily conference calls and just hearing the inspiring words of my uh, boss, my se Senator Jackson, kind of pumping us up and motivating us to uh, assist constituents. And my supervisor, James Joyce, is just incredible. He's been very involved in what's going on with the protests and, current, and currently what's going on in our climate. And he is uh, astounding. He has a TED talk that's coming up in Santa Barbara. He's just full of knowledge. And I'm just very excited and honored to be a part of this team and to work under such excellent leaders that are just um, experienced professionals. I'm very lucky to be where I'm at right now. I'm very blessed. I'm very grateful. And I love working for a leader like Senator Jackson, like James Joyce, like Patty Quiros. I mean, the, these are my inspirations and really push me to keep going because right now my, my job's pretty tough. Um, we, uh, we help a lot of constituents with unemployment and hearing about what's going on and what people are experiencing, not being able to get through the phone. You know, it's tough. You know, we as workers, we experience burnout and the stories we're here. It's difficult, you know, I've kind of become a psychologist sometimes, <laughs> you know, just trying to help people push through, you know, but, and that's what inspires me is seeing the good that's come out, what community members stand up. And I encourage you like students, dolphins, you know, be stewards of leadership. CSUCI, one of their missions is to make you become a steward of leadership and education and knowledge to do well for your community. Now is your time of all times in this pandemic is to become that leader. You'd be amazed of how many volunteer opportunities there are. You can volunteer to provide groceries for essential workers. There's, um, you can volunteer for food share of Ventura County. Yes. There's so many things out there. Participate in your community. Meet this moment, you know, offer a helping hand to a senior that has to shelter in place. Maybe you can offer to pick up their groceries or help pick up some items. You know, let's all meet this moment because as a community, if we stand together, that's what really helps strengthen our community and become like more intertwined and you'd realize like how much we have in common. So dolphins, I really encourage you get out there and help get involved in your community that will set you apart and it will be an experience that no one can take away for you. And it'll help you stand out in your career because you will already develop those key leader attributes. Well, you, you've inspired me. So I feel like you're, you're my, my inspiration <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I always like to end our podcasts with a, 
what I call like a CI lightning round. So I try to ask three mm -hmm. questions that are very specific to campus. So number one, who is your favorite professor? And I know it's hard because there's so many great ones. That's you, controversial because <laughs> I, I like all my professors. I know, man. It, okay, I would say it's it's definitely a tie between Dr. Chen and Dr. Usera. Dr. Usera is not there anymore, but yeah, I, you know what? I'll just say Dr. Usera. He's awesome. Okay, and why? 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 You know, Dr. Usera was an advanced public speaking professor when he was at CSUCI. And I, I love public speaking and he's great. And I think this is what's great about CSUCI is that because Dr. Ursera is actually a public speaking champion from Toastmasters. This is someone that's actually competed. It has firsthand experience. And often you will find that CSUCI have professors that are very well equipped and knowledgeable and have firsthand experience of what they taught. I mean, Speak to Professor Henchy, speak to uh, Dr. Chen. I mean, these are individuals with amazing experience. You know, get to know your faculty and you'll realize that they have astounding experience. Talk to Dr. J uh, Jenkins. Dr. Mm -hmm. Jenkins has had, I don't know how many publications and his LinkedIn is stacked, you know, get <laughs> utilize the faculty that we are so blessed to have at CSUCI. They are astounding, outstanding. We're really lucky. Yeah, we have some incredible mm -hmm. faculty on our, our campus. So awesome. Thank you. Okay, so second question. What was your favorite spot on campus? Hmm. Definitely the library. I love the library. It's awesome. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love seeing all the flags. I like just being there able to work and with the computers and the study rooms. I like it. I love it a lot. And then it's right next to the uh, the restaurants and the, right right next to it too. I love that area. I know, me too. The library is beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. last question: What do you miss most about being a student at Channel Island? What I really love, what I just really miss just going to class and love learning and just love uh, connecting with other students, being involved in campus. You know those. You, you know, really utilize your time at UCI, you know, join clubs, you really get to meet uh, students that are driven just like you are, and make sure to stay connected with them. It, it's really cool meeting students that are just driven to succeed. They inspire you and, you know, leadership begets leadership, you know, really get involved in your campus. You know, let's, I think that Dolphins, we should all really work together to make our campus better. You know, we've struggled with student participation and often you will find that when you get involved with clubs, you see the same people. And that's something that I really want CSUCI to improve on. And I think that starts with us students. You know, if you really want to become the key player in your community and succeed in your work, participate in your campus. You will not regret it. You will get amazing experience and it will prepare you for your job it guaranteed it will the the knowledge and the experience that i had with the communication club really helped me with my uh, with my career and my job search and really gave me that confidence in interviews so i really encourage you students please be a steward of leadership and get involved on campus you will not regret it and it just adds to the experience of csuci be more than the student that just goes to class and goes home and works. Do your best to get involved in school. You've been such an amazing ambassador for, for the university and just a representative of what alumni can do after they graduate. And I was so impressed with, with everything that you've accomplished and, and really grateful that you took the time to share all of this advice today. Um, so if students or alumni do want to connect with you, um, I'm sure they're going to be inspired by, by your story and your words. What's the best way for people to reach out if they want to have a conversation with you? Of course, Lisa. So yeah, Dolphins, uh, fellow graduates, upcoming graduate students, if you have any questions or need any advice, uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Angel Garcia, A-N-G-E-L Garcia, G-A-R-C-I-A. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to help you. I'm a district representative of Senator Jackson. And, and um, I, I'm on Dolphin Career Link, and I know there's a mentorship program as well. So if you need a mentor or someone to just kind of talk you through um, you know, what it's like to search some of the key tips. And, um, and if you are looking for ways of how to get more involved in your community, you know, let me know. I'll be, I'll be happy to help you. 
and you know just make sure that oftentimes you will find that the best motivation comes from within you know really try to push yourself to talk positively about you and you also want to be actively thinking this is what i've learned from my supervisor james joyce you want to be an active thinker think out of the box so when you're at csuci what what are you going to do what is being at csuci mean are you just going to go to class and then go home is that's it what are you hoping to gain from CSUCI? CSUCI can be a catalyst for great things. If you allow it to, your education is an investment. So invest. I mean, it's your education. You definitely want to get your money's worth. And to get your money's worth, you know, you're going to have to put in some work and really invest into your education. And I guarantee you by you getting involved and going that extra mile and doing more, you will not regret it and you will only see that it, it helped you. So don't be afraid to connect with me. I'll be happy to help in any way that I can. Thank you so much, Angel. This has been wonderful. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Um, yeah, and please, please reach out, stay, stay in touch with us. And thank you so much. Have a good day, Dolphins.